Okay, so here's my filtration. I have a bottom drain. I also have a skimmer. A waterfall. And I also have a return from my sand and gravel filter, which is over in that corner of the pond. The pond is approximately 4,000 gallons. This is the control center for my filtration. That is the line coming up from my bottom drain. That is the line coming from my skimmer. Those are two inch lines. They both come back. the pumps. This pump is 7,500 gallons per hour. This pump is 4,000 gallons per hour. This pump is controlling the skimmer. Line comes into a pressure filter with a 24 watt UV light built into it. it has some bio balls in the bottom of it and some filter pads that returns back to my waterfall. This pump is from the bottom drain. It was somewhat half buried in the ground. Back this way. goes through a 35 watt UV light and then it splits off into my sand and gravel filter. These are my sand and gravel filters, 55 gallon along with one 55 gallon moving bed K1 biofilter. The first sand and gravel filter has approximately four inches of inch and a half to two inch gravel. It has another four inches, about one inch gravel, and then another four inches of pea gravel and then four inches of chicken grit and oyster shell kind of mixed together. It comes off of this leg here, which is split. The second gravel, sandy gravel filter, is the upper line, comes in. It goes to this second sand and gravel filter. Pretty much the same as the first. Water rises up to the sand and gravel, which there's no sand, but that's what they call it. Turns to the pond and this pipe here. Well, this particular pipe actually goes down and feeds my bio filter. The first filter it actually drains and goes and returns to the pond via that pipe there. This is back to the first sand and gravel filter. It has a clean out here with an elbow that is just removed while cleaning. Took a shop back up to that pipe, blow it, cover this pipe up this cap, take the elbow off, and water drains through here, and it returns to the back side, which is also connected to the second sandy gravel filter, and 
both those filters connected here come together and that goes to a ditch on my side yard. This is the second sand and gravel filter. This line actually connects to my bio filter, which is, has a moving bed of K1. That water drains through the perforated pipe down and goes back to my pond. 